But look, where, where this whole kind of thing started with me, when I, I finished playing, I was the age of 27, it was back in 1988, I finished playing. Um, and during that time in, in the 1980s, I had a tryout with um, baseball. So I went across to the States and had tryouts with six major league baseball clubs as a pitcher. Um, and I also at that time was throwing a javelin. I was just kind of toying around with other sports where you could throw because I had a very strong throwing arm. And I, I've got the second longest recorded cricket ball throw in history. So just from a throwing perspective, I was curious about how to throw harder. And it was when I got to the States, ended up with the Philadelphia Phillies for spring training, um, that the coaches there were talking a lot about technique, the technique of throwing. And I'd never had this before because when I was playing in the 1980s, there were no there were no coaches. I mean, no one was teaching speed. We were always told that you're born a fast bowler. You, it's not something you could learn. You're born with it. And, and I went to the States with that attitude and realized that I was completely wrong, that actually it's process. And, and, and a humans are process-based learners. And there was a way of learning how to throw harder. So if you could throw harder with a javelin, you could throw harder with a baseball, that must mean surely you could bowl faster. So my interest was kind of peaked at that time. And then when I got back from the States and retired, I thought, let me do some cricket coaching based on this real layman's understanding of biomechanics. And that scared me a little because biomechanics just means body movement. Mechanics is movement, bio is of the body. So basically it meant bowling action. And back in the old days, the MCC coaching manual was only teaching one way to bowl, which was sideways on, which was landing your back foot parallel with the crease and looking over your shoulder and all this kind of good stuff. And no one was talking about what the bowlers were doing in the crease. They were talking about wrist position on pitching it up, hitting the top of off stump, swinging it away, all of the stuff which was outcome based, but not how to create the outcome. So off the back of that, I started to experiment a little bit with javelin movements and baseball movements, bearing in mind that we have to keep our arms straight and not bend it at the end, but basically similar body positions. And in 1993, I ran my first fast bowling camp 